Physics explains how an airplane flies. As the plane uses jet engines or even a propeller in some cases to move itself forward, air rushes by the wing. The wing is designed in such a shape that it sends much over the top of the wing, causing a high pressure up there. This high pressure is demonstrated by lines representing air close together. As the air continues along and the wings thin out, the air pressure drops again. A high pressure area below the wing always moves toward a low pressure area above the wing, and so the high pressure lifts the plane into the air. When every plane is in flight, there are four forces acting on it. Gravity, lift, drag, and thrust. Gravity, of course, is natural, pulling the plane toward the ground. Lift is what is caused when air goes past the wing. It opposes gravity. Drag is natural and opposes the plane's forward movement. This is the same as air resistance. The fourth force, thrust, is caused by the engine or propeller and is what pulls the plane forward, opposing drag. It's a vector problem. It's physics. If the pilot can make the force of the lift more than the force of gravity, the plane will come off the ground. The greater difference there is between the thrust and the drag, thrust being greater of course, the faster the plane will move. The pilot can change the altitude by either increasing or decreasing the power of the engines. When descending, the pilot will decrease the engine power, which will reduce the plane's thrust. This reduction in thrust also reduces lift and increases drag, further slowing the plane. To change the airplane's direction, the pilot uses controls called ailerons. These are flaps on the wings. By raising or lowering these flaps, a pilot increases or decreases the lift on each of the wings. If an aileron is up, it decreases a lift on that wing. If it's down, it increases a lift. If a pilot wants to bank right, he will put the right aileron up and the left aileron down. This will increase the lift on the left wing and decrease it on the right, making the plane bank to the right. Since lift always occurs perpendicular to the surface of the wing, the lift acts at an angle and the plane turns accordingly. Because the lift is not acting directly against gravity, the plane also reduces an altitude. The pilot must increase engine power, which increases thrust, which increases lift over again. It makes this drop in altitude manual.